What up, guys? It's your girl, Madam Meeks. And um, um, last month, I missed a month in Pops. And uh, I was like, I'll just add it into... No, I'll just add it, add it into May. And then I just realized all the things that I have sitting here. Not to mention, I had to bring back my uh, stuff from work. So I also have that here. So I have extra Pops in my house. But that's neither here nor there. If you're enjoying any of my content, any of my collectibles, gameplay, reviews, reactions, whatever, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together. So, I have uh, a lot of periodically, uh, it's like a long periodically time pops that have been sitting here. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else before I start. Like, I have a box here, but these don't belong to me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you real quick. <coughs> These don't belong to me. These belong to my friend, my Ogie Bear, because I pick up his pops at GameStop. Because I'm telling y'all, everyone loves the dog at GameStop. However, they let you pre-order pops, so I don't have to go running around hunting like an idiot trying to find sets. I can just pre-order the whole set and call it a day, which is what I did for the majority of things I have here on the table. So, um, I have no idea where to start. Um, I'm trying to do the one-off pieces. So, I have a Hot Topic exclusive Deku. What season? What, what series is this? Is this is this wave two? I think this might be wave two. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. I am completely obsessed with My Hero Academia. I swear. It's one of the, the greater animes going on right now. But I'm also a um, shonen whore. I love most shonen jump anime. I do. I do. But here's Deku. Hot Topic. Exclusive. I have no idea where to put these. I'm just gonna try to stack them over here. Um, and then I have the um, Entertainment Earth exclusive, the Adams Family. I have Morticia and Gomez. I had to get this one. The other ones, uh, I feel like I need to collect them since I got this one, but look how cool they look. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, it's just so cool. I think they're in black and white too, which makes it even better. Get up in the frame. There we go. Yeah, get up in there. Get all up in there. It's so cool. I had to get it. This is one of my. It's just a really good show. Um, the show from the was it the 50s? I can't remember how long, old that show is. I think it's the 50s and the 60s. And then you have um, the movies that are in the 90s. The movies take the cake. Raul, Julia. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, the one and the only. And let's see what else I have here. I have this HBO exclusive, Night King on the Throne. It almost knocked the taste out of my mouth for Game of Thrones pops. Almost, almost. I still think it's an incredible book series. And the show was such a good show, but it ended on a sour note with that bullshit ass season eight. They should have just extended it three more seasons so they can build up to this so that we're not all left with the what the fuck face. But here is the Night King, the metallic Night King on the throne. And I brought back all of my Game of Thrones pops from work because um, we're getting new desks and we had to clear off everything while they build them. And we're gonna be at a backup facility until then. So I had to bring all of my pops home. They was like, oh, we have a crate for you to put your stuff in so we can store it. And I was like, mm-mm, uh-uh, buddy. Uh-uh, let me tell you how much these Game of Thrones pops are worth. They're worth uh, a little, little over $1,500. I'm not playing these games with you guys. I'm not. I'll be damned if I come in and my pops are missing or my pops are damaged. I'll just take these some bitches home. I'll just take them home. So that's what I have. I have boxes everywhere boxes and bags it took me three trips to bring home my pops but i'm very happy to add him to the collection this is one of the first hbo exclusives that i've ever gotten my hands on now that i know how they do it i see you i see you fam i'm gonna get my pops i'm gonna get my pops now i know how you do it all right i'm gonna set this here okay what else do i have on the table i think all of these no all these are not the same okay here we go and also have the stan lee I had to get it. I had to get it. And I don't know what color this is or what you want to call this color, but it's my Stanley Pop. I had to get it. 
full of feels, full of feels. Oh man, full of feels. What the hell is this? Oh, he's so cute. What's in here? Oh yeah. I'll be forgetting what I get. <laughs> I'll be forgetting. Okay. And um, I'm just looking at this. How am I gonna do this? I have the Jaws collection here. Um, Cause these boxes are huge. I'm not lying to you when I say these boxes are huge. Two of them. This is, I have two versions of Bruce the Shark. And yes, his name is Bruce. Jaws' name is Bruce, you know what I mean? The movie is called Jaws, but the shark is named Bruce. So I have Bruce with the diving tank. You see his little mouth? Yeah, you see his little mouth is right there. A little num 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 on it. And then I have Bruce without the diving tank. These, I don't even know what, like, I don't even know what size these are. These are massive, I think. It's almost as big as like a, a three pack, but I have both of them. Look how great they look though. Look how great they look. Just so dang adorable and the back of the box. Look at him, he just looks so happy. He just looks so happy. It reminds me of um, Finding Nemo. Yeah, I have a problem. He's still cute though. It's a little cutie. Get these out of frame. Okay, there. All right, and so then I have, oh my God, they actually have the, ch the chum in the, oh, that's just cute, the chum in the bucket. I have Quint, I have Chief Brody, and I have Matt Hooper. Here is Matt Hooper. Looking like an underwater uh, Chuck Norris. Uh, Dorbs, especially with those glasses. Those glasses are really cute, look at those little glasses. I love it. And then I have Quint. Right there, he's got his spear. Even though he did it, he got his spear right there. He's super adorable. These are just so damn cute. These are so damn cute. Oh my gosh, it just takes me back to watching Jaws the first time. And I was just like, Jaws and um, the Kraken and whales are the reason I don't ocean. I don't ocean. If I can't see the bottom, my ass is not getting in the water. I just, mm, I don't ocean. I don't ocean, I don't see, I don't lake. I barely pool. Okay, but here is, I like how they have the cigarette just stuck in a hole. But here is Chief Brody with his cigarette and the chum in the bucket. I can't, I don't know if you can t see it, but look at the chum, it's red, it's in the bucket. It's adorable. So that is the jaw set. <clears throat> I don't want nobody talking about me. This is two months worth of pops. I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. It's two months. And then I have, <clears throat> I had to get, Beverly Hills Cop. I had to. I have Axel Foley regular and then Axel Foley with the banana and the tailpipe. Look at banana and the tailpipe and the regular Axel Foley. I love this series. Um, it's just like classic Eddie Murphy. It's classic Eddie Murphy and it's just so good. Give you a little closer look at him. It's just so good. It's so good. If you have not seen Beverly Hills Cop, I recommend it. And I recommend Beverly Hills Cop too. I can't remember if there's a three. I want to say there is a three. Was it three at the amusement park? Hmm. I have to look it up again. But I did enjoy one. I know I enjoyed one because I had Hans or Franz or what? I think it's Franz. Frank? Somebody. I can't remember his name. But he was in it as well. And you get the, the very funny banana and tailpipe situation that happened. So those are my Beverly Hill Cop ones. And then I'm not a Pokemon collector. I like Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, I don't play the games. I haven't seen the movie yet because I was on vacation. I missed a whole bunch of movies, so I gotta run on Monday and watch all the movies. But I'm gonna watch the movie, but my favorite Pokemon of all time is Charmander. Charmander is the cutest little bubbles in the world. Look at his little happy face. He is so happy. He is so happy. Oh, I love Charmander. And I need a Charizard. Okay, I need all, I need all evolutions of my Charmander. Please and thank you. Because here's the thing, they shouldn't have started with these because now you literally have to catch them all. I feel really, really bad for people who are jumping into the pop game because of Pokemon. Because the original, I think it was 150? There's, there's like eight or 900 now. That's so many, so many. Oh my gosh, just, oh, the, ugh. I would never, I just want, I just want the Charizards. The, the Charmander Charizard, I can't remember what the other evolution is. I can't remember what's off my head. <clears throat> we have one more bag. Okay, um, don't judge me, but this, this is the last little bit that I have. And I can't, well first of all, with this one, where's it at? I can't remember if I mentioned this or not. Because I feel like I got multiples of these because I kept forgetting that I had it. And um, there were still some left. So I think I already have one, but I grabbed another. So I have two of these. Um, the same with the Deku Pop, I have two of those. Um, but I'm gonna leave that over there. So um, I happen to be of the small minority who thoroughly enjoys Fallout 76. I know, I know. Like what, what? You enjoy Fallout 76? Yes, I do. I enjoy it because number one, I don't play it by myself. Me and my friend Shannon Hannanen, we make weekly dates depending on our schedules and availabilities to play Fallout for a few hours. Roaming the wasteland is extremely fun with a friend. That's why I think in my opinion, Fallout 76 is an okay game. It's not great because there are a lot of bugs in it still. And we found all the vaults, but we can't get in them because they're later like DLC stuff. But there's still a lot to do in that world. We haven't even covered the whole map yet. And we've been playing since, since release. Um, but we've been playing more frequently. Like we actually making dates to do this for like past couple of months. Like we've been like, okay, once a week we're gonna play and we just happen to catch the missions and stuff. It's just a lot of fun, especially if you play with a person. Now, if you're the type of person who, want to play, who wants to play Fallout by themselves, this game is not for you. It's a completely different game by yourself. And I agree, if you're playing by yourself, it sucks. It literally sucks because you're just gonna get swarmed. Um, so you absolutely need a person to, to, to run with. Um, but that being said, I got the Fallout 76 Pops. So, I have no idea, I'm just gonna start from the top. I have the Rad Toad. He sucks. He sucks balls. I don't like him. He's a meanie. Oh my gosh, look at the strength pop. Jesus, look at them thighs. Oh my God. Them thighs is thick. Jesus, he's chiseled. Looking like the rock and shit, damn. Okay, <clears throat> that's the strength. What's this one? The Mothman. I have only, like I have a glimpse of the Mothman. I have yet to actually see this thing and fight this thing. And my friend Shannon hasn't even seen it at all, I don't think. And I caught a little glimpse. I was just walking, minding my business. This is why I was playing by myself, which is why I would have helped if I had a second character or a second friend, you know, helping me at the time. But we were just like, oh, we're gonna play a little bit here and there. We didn't play together. So I was minding my business, minding my beautiful black business, just walking through the wasteland. Like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. And all of a sudden, something pops in front of me and poofs and my um reticle like strayed over it and it said the mothman and it was like level 50 something and i was like oh because at the time i was like level 10 and i was like oh no oh no it's the mothman and that's the last time i saw the mothman i have not seen him since i've seen a sheep squatch fought a sheep squatch those sons of bitches are bastards didn't beat him we had to run but I did not see the Mothman ever again. Yeah, but here's the Vault Dweller. Regular handy dandy Vault Dweller. 
And then the excavator armor, which is pretty cool. Look at that power armor. It's so cool. Look at that. Look at that. It looks, yeah, it's very meaty. And then I have the XO power armor. It has the guitar with it. It's GameStop exclusive. I like this a lot. And in this game, I don't really use power armor because it's it's a task to repair it. Repairing in this game, um, it's it's not stupid. It just makes it inconvenient inconvenient to walk around in power armor unless you have enough things, enough um, materials on you to repair it in case you run into something big. And I usually don't. Like my base is full, which is a problem. Um, I can, uh, I think I scrapped everything I can scrap. At least now I can rebuild my base, but my base storage, they still have it capped at 800, which is not enough. I'm gonna need you to add a zero to the end of that. I collect everything because I wanna repair everything. There's many a time where I go to repair something and I can't because I don't have the materials because I had to drop shit. Don't like doing that. I like scrapping everything I don't need because I need the parts. Um, and then we have the mole miner. The mole miners are pretty fun. I actually like the mole miners. Um, because they leave great loot behind when you kill them. The best loot. You get um, legendary armor, legendary weapons. You get a bunch of scrap material that you need. This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm very, very happy with the, with the mole miners loot. And that concludes the, uh, the pops. I really want to talk about these, but these are mine. Because I just think they're so cool, because a lot of people are really, really obsessed with the Persona. But here's here's a peek. Boop! It's a Persona one. And he this one, because he's got two kinds. And he also has Fairy Tail. Got these Fairy Tail Pops from. Yeah. But I'm going to leave that where it is inside of here. And that is all for my month, my months in freaking pop for April and May. There you have it. See? It's not that bad, is it? Really? Mm. Not when you see the rest of it. It's kind of, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. I'm not collecting like I used to because now I'm very particular about the, um, about the collections I go after. So, because I used to be an all collector, I feel like I have a bunch that I, like all of my Batman ones. I'm not really a fan of. I just got like, oh, Batman. But now that I'm into collecting, collecting, I want to collect the act, things that I actually want. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with the Batman ones. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is it. That is everything. That is all of it. It's a lot of pops. I gotta figure out where to put these, especially the um, the uh, the Jaws, the Bruce pops. These things are huge. I have no idea where to put them. No idea where to put them. Cool beans. So on that note, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye! Hmm. Let me hold a moment, please. Cheers, community, Dawson's Creek, man. We have all of those. Fortnite. Gears. Oh, wow. Gears aren't pre orderable anymore. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they are. Wait. Okay, Hocus Pocus is coming. Mm-hmm. Yu Yu Hakka. Whoa, 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 Xena Warrior Princess. Pause, please. Pause, please. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna have to go back in there and pull another list. I didn't even look at the list. <laughs> Every time I go and pick up Pops, I uh, pull up the list. I didn't even look at the list. Holy crap, some good ones on that.